So I will present you uh, our IBE from code with wrong metric. Um, first, the, the issue that um, there is uh, in every uh, public key crypto system is to distribute securely the, the key of the users. We have to be sure that uh, we um, communicate with the, the right users. So there is several um, ways to achieve that. The first solution is to use um, public key infrastructure, which relies on, on the use of certificates, and we have to trust uh, a lot of authority. And the other way is to uh, use uh, identity-based encryption, where um, the public key of a user is directly linked to his identity, and all the secret key are uh, managed by an only authority, which is called the uh, trusted authority. Uh, an IBE uh, is technically difficult to achieve. Uh, the, um, the idea was invented by uh, Shamir in uh, 84, but the first construction uh, only appears in 2000. Currently, there is uh, four families of IBE. Uh, we can uh, do uh, IBE from elliptic curves pairing, quadratic residues, uh, very recently, computational Diffie-Hellman problem, and from uh, latest based crypto. For the, the three first, uh, the, the, the IBE, um, is based on number theory assumptions, so they are not resistant to the uh, quantum computer, and only the, the fourth can be used in uh, post-quantum cryptography. And that's why it's very important to find uh, other primitives to uh, construct uh, IBE in uh, post-quantum cryptography. And that's uh, what we achieved. We first have uh, designed a new uh, PKE based uh, on the rank metric, in, uh, on code-based cryptography with the rank metric. And uh, the, um, um, the security of our uh, new uh, PKE uh, is based on a new problem, the DRSL problem, which I introduce later. And with uh, this, um, with this uh, new PKE, we have designed the first code-based IBE in, um, with, the rank, uh, with the rank metrics and we have also used the uh, signature scheme wrong sign. So now I will present you the wrong metric. First, we need to define uh, FQ linear codes. There are FQ, uh, FQ subspace of uh, FQM power n. So exactly like uh, in uh, Hamming, we can um, represent a code with a uh, matrix. Uh, but with coefficient in the field FQM. So uh, the FQM linear code will be uh, the combination of the rows of G, and uh, we uh, denote, uh, we uh, not him, uh, NK FQM code. <coughs> um, the FQM linear code comes with another metric, the rank metric, to define it, we first need a basis uh, of FQM over FQ. And to every vector of uh, FQM power n, we can associate a matrix of size m times n. Uh, each column of the matrix, matrix mx um, corresponds to the uh, coordinates of the vector x with respect to the basis. And by definition, the, the weight of, uh, of a code word is the rank of the matrix and the distance uh, of two words is the, the rank of the difference of two matrices. And these, um, these definitions uh, d don't depend on the choice of the basis. <coughs> uh, to use the rank metric in cryptography, we need some hard problem. And here, the, the natural hard problem is the rank syndrome decoding, which is the equivalent of uh, the syndrome decoding in the Hamming matrix. So we have a parity, uh, parity check matrix of a certain code and uh, a syndrome, and we need to find a vector e such that h times e equal s, with the condition that um, uh, the weight of uh, e is equal to r. This problem is difficult because uh, there is a probabilistic reduction to the syndrome decoding problem in the Hamming metric, which is a well-known uh, NP-complete uh, problem. And for the, decoding, the complexity of the decoding algorithm is uh, equal to Q to power R times the minimum with K and KM over N. So 
the complexity depends if m is greater or less than n. But the, the, what is important is that the exponent is quadratic in n if we choose all the parameters linear in n. <coughs> and of course, there is a decisional version of this problem. And uh, we just uh, need to, the problem is to distinguish uh, uh, syndrome h times e, where e is uh, chosen in random from vector of weight r from a completely random vector y. So what are the advantages of the rank metric? Uh, first, the FQM linear codes are linear to, uh, with respect to a large field. So uh, that's why we can have, uh, they are structured codes, and we can have a compact representations. So we can uh, have a small key size for um, the crypto system. And the, the fact uh, there is the, the complexity of the attack against uh, the rank metric code are, uh, depends on the size of the field. It's not the case for the ramming distance where the Prange algorithm uh, doesn't depend on the size of the, of the code. And another advantage is uh, the fact that uh, the size of the codes for the rank metric grow, th grow smaller slower than for Hamming metrics for the same complexity. If we uh, want to solve the rarity problem with complexity 2 power lambda, the size of the code will be uh, linear to lambda power 3 half, but for Hamming metrics, it will be linear for lambda um, square. Uh, this is true for random codes. <coughs> so, uh, there is several uh, construction uh, with, uh, which use the rank metric in cryptography. There is public key encryption. There is two family. Uh, the first one uh, is based on the Macaulay scheme, and for that we need uh, some uh, family uh, family codes we can decode. So there is the Gabidulin codes, which are the equivalent of the Reed Solomon, and. They are a rich algebraic structure. That's why there is, they have been attacked by Overbeck. And the other family is the LRPC codes, which are the equivalent of the MDPC code in Hamming. And uh, of course, so we have our, our scheme, a wrong PKE. And there, there are uh, signature schemes, like a wrong sign, which is based uh, on the LRPC code. I will rapidly, uh, rapidly uh, quickly uh, introduce you the LRPC code. First, we need a subspace V of FQM of dimension D. And we consider a matrix H with all its coefficients in V. And by definition, uh, the matrix H will, uh, will be the parity check matrix of an N NK LRPC code. So uh, we can decode an LRPC code if we know uh, such a matrix, but if we only have a random matrix, a random parity check matrix, we cannot, uh, we cannot use the, the decoding algorithm. And that's why we can use these codes for the Macaulay scheme. <coughs> such a matrix uh, is called a homogeneous matrix of weight D. So now I will present you our new uh, public key encryption. So first, we need to generate the parameter of our code. We need uh, a vector s, which is com of size uh, n minus k, which is completely random, and a matrix of size n minus k times n, which has to be a full rank, and a vector e of weight r. And we define the vector p uh, equal to s a plus e. <coughs> We also, know, we also need a public code. Uh, we can decode up to WR error for the, the, the decryption algorithm. The public key will be uh, the triplet uh, AGP, and the secret key is the vector S. So to encrypt the message M, we multiply the matrix A with the vector P uh, below with the homogeneous matrix U. Uh, of weight W. We add some matrix with the, met the, code the message M is embedded in the public code, and we obtain the, the ciphertext CX. <coughs> uh, 
And to, to, deco to um, decrypt the, the ciphertext, we multiply the ciphertext by the secret key S with the, uh, with the, uh, the coefficient minus one. And we obtain the code word MG plus an error uh, EU. And since we have chosen U as an homogeneous matrix of price W, and the weight of the vector E is uh, R, we can bound the, the rank, the weight of the error EU, and we can uh, then re compute M by decoding the, this, uh, this noisy code word. Um, a very important uh, pro um, uh, property to use our, um, our crypto system is that there is uh, S and P are, are linked because um, since we have chosen P equal S A plus E, the difference, the rank of the difference between P and NC, uh, S A is uh, is low. That's why uh, that will be useful for the the IB. <coughs> So um, I will introduce, we have introduced a, a, a new problem to prove the security of our crypto system, the wrong support learning problem. Um, we, this problem, uh, in this problem we have a matrix A, completely random, and uh, the product of A times U, where U is a homogeneous, uh, homogeneous matrix, uh, of, of weight uh, W, and the goal of the problem is to recover the um, support of U. By support, I mean the subspace generated by the coordinate of U. Um, we can see this problem as multiple instances of the RSD problem, which um, C, uh, CI can be seen as the product of A times uh, a vector of weight W. But the difference is that all the, the support of all the errors are in the same space V. Um, of course, uh, we, can, uh, we can define the decisional version of this problem, which is to distinguish the matrix AU from a completely random matrix Y. <coughs> and under the assumption that uh, DRSR, DRSL is hard, our public key encryption is semantically secure. <coughs> so now I will, uh, I will uh, instigate in the complexity of uh, RSL. So uh, as I said, if we just have one, uh, if n prime equal one, we just have one uh, syndrome. So RSL is uh, equivalent to uh, the RSD problem. And when n, uh, when n prime is large enough, this problem uh, becomes easy. So I will explain it uh, briefly. Uh, we just consider the subspace W generated by the colon of the matrix AU, the FQ subspace. And if n prime is greater than n times W, the subspace W uh, corresponds to the whole subspace A times V power n. So we can check if, uh, for any uh, subspace E of dimension one, if uh, the subspace A times E power N uh, is included in W. And then we can recover uh, V uh, this way. <coughs> uh, for, our crypto the, for our crypto system, uh, we are in the case where, uh, in the intermediate, intermediate case, and uh, the, I, we will, uh, Still uh, investigate. Um, so we st we still consider the subspace W generated by the column of the matrix AU, but this time we will also consider the code C, uh, which is the set of the vector x such, a, such that uh, A times x belongs to W. It's an uh, FQ linear code, and it has the property that uh, the small code words of C. Are, combi are linear combination of the colon of few. So if, if we can uh, compute these uh, small weight code words, we will able to compute uh, V and then to solve uh, RSL problem. So we have uh, adapted the, the generic decoding algorithm to this code and uh, we obtain an exponential gain 
proportional to Q power n prime over n times the minimum of K, Km over n. But the complexity uh, for uh, the, this attack is still uh, exponential. Okay, now uh, I can uh, present you uh, our identity-based uh, encryption. <coughs> so the, the two main difficulties for designing an IBE is the first is we need to um, to have a public key encryption with uh, dense space for the public key. <coughs> and the second difficulty is uh, only the trusted authority can be able to compute the secret key of, uh, of, uh, of a user. And the problem is, in our wrong PKE, we do the, the exact opposite. We first generate uh, the, the secret key S, and then we compute the public key, uh, SA plus E. And the public key is sparse. The, yes, the, the public key space is sparse. So we have to, uh, to, to do the opposite, to, to transform our, uh, our rank PKE into uh, an IBE. Uh, we, we need to... Uh, to add some, uh, some trapdoor in the matrix A in order to, to invert the, the, the function. So we, ha we have A, which is the public master key of uh, IBE, and any vector P of length N can be a public key of an, uh, of an user. So we need to find a vector S uh, such that P minus S A is, uh, is small in order to to um, use our uh, to use the wrong PKE, and this problem it's exactly the problem of the signature in code-based cryptography. So we will add the trapdoor in the master public key A by using the signature scheme wrong sign. Uh, how wrong sign works? Um, wrong sign uh, is also based on the LRPC code. So the public the um, uh, we consider a matrix H prime, which is in two parts. F the first part is an homogeneous matrix of WSD, so it defines the LRPC code, and we add some random columns in order to hide the structure of the, the code. And we call such a code uh, an augmented LRPC, or LRPC plus. And the matrix H prime, H prime will be the um, secret key of the of the of wrong sign, and to hide the structure, we multiply H prime by two wrong, uh, two uh, invertible matrix P and Q. So the public uh, matrix will be P H prime Q. <coughs> and now we can uh, we can design our our IBE. Oh, sorry, first, uh, yeah, the wrong sign has has a um, property that the signature are completely indistinguishable from the uniform distribution, uh, which is uh, useful for the IBE. <coughs> uh, so, how our IBE works? First, uh, we generate uh, a public, a public master key, which is the generator matrix of an LRPC code. And we also have a matrix G, uh, like in the wrong PKE. And the trapdoor, the master secret key will be the trapdoor of wrong sign. Um, the key derivation, uh, to use a key derivation, we need uh, an oracle H in order to embed any identity in the, um, the space of the, uh, of the signature of wrong sign. <coughs> and, uh, to compute uh, the secret, uh, the secret uh, key of an identity, the trusted authority runs the algorithm wrong sign with the trapdoor T. And we obtain, by, uh, by definition, we obtain a vector S such that SA minus P, uh, the rank of SA minus P is below R. And since we have this property, we can use wrong PKE with the matrix A 
to encrypt and decrypt the uh, any message M. <coughs> so the the matrix A uh, plays two roles. Uh, one, uh, it can be, it is used as a public uh, mass, a public matrix for the encryption and the decryption, and uh, it is also used in wrong sign to by the trusted authority to uh, compute the secret key of any users. So uh, the security of our uh, IB is based on, uh, on the assumption that an LRPC plus code is indistinguishable from a random code. And under this assumption, the security of our IBE uh, is reduced to the security of a wrong PKE. <coughs> um, I give you here some uh, parameters. Uh, we have a public master key of a few uh, megabytes, and Q is very large because of the, the, the fact that the signature in wrong sign are not uh, statistically close to the uniform, but only computationally close, and the bound depends on Q. That's why we need a Q very large. But uh, of course, the goal of our article is not to uh, design an uh, optimized algorithm, but more to have uh, an IBE based on other assumptions. <coughs> and uh, in conclusion, there is two, uh, several open questions. The first one is to find a, a search decision to the RSL problem, because the security of a wrong PKE is based on the decision, uh, on the decision version of this problem. And uh, for the, currently, the best attack against the decision uh, version of this problem is to solve the computational, uh, computational problem, but uh, we don't have uh, any reduction. And the second uh, question is uh, how to design an IBE in the, in the AMIC metric? Because, uh, as I said, um, in, with the rank metric, we can uh, use the parameter m, the size of the field, in order to, uh, to it is useful to, to construct the, the uh, rank PKE. And uh, we cannot adapt the idea to Hamming. So if we want uh, um, maybe in Hamming, we, in the Hamming metric, we need a completely a different uh, idea. Thank you for uh, for our attention. If uh, there is any questions.